Hello Boosted Fam and welcome back to another bullet journal video. In today's video I want to talk about project management and I'd like to show you all of the spreads that I use for managing all of the different projects that I have. This semester I have a lot of group projects for university so um, it's been really important for me to have a clear overview of all of the projects, all of the deadlines and all of the things that we had to do. So I'm going to go over all of the different pages that I tried, what worked, what didn't work, and the final spread that I'm currently using that I'm very happy with. Before we start, I wanted to announce real quick that I opened a second channel, which is called A Boosted Mind, where I talk about motivation, productivity, my life experiences, and basically how I go through life as an independent 25-year-old um, student who has to work at the same time. So if you want to go check that channel, I'm going to leave all of the description down below, and I'm going to, you know, put the link up here as well. So first thing first, I'm going to show you the spread that I was using for managing all of my projects. I have already shown you the spread in a separate video that I'm going to leave the link to um, up here. But basically, I used to divide my projects into current projects that I had to work on and someday projects. The problem with the someday projects is that I don't really have a lot of time to focus on these. So basically this page wasn't really necessary. Here I was keeping a list of the projects and the current status of the project. What I didn't really like with this page is that it was way too static and that I was missing the time related information and the planning part. So that's why in my new bullet journal I stopped using this spread and I'm trying some Thing a little bit different. First of all, it's important to have a list of all of the projects that you have. I have already shown this in my latest video, but I'm going to show it again. As you can see here, I keep a list of my projects in this pad here. I got this pad last summer back in Italy. It's from Legami, if you're interested. And basically, I use some washi here so that I can uh, flip this to whatever page within my journal and I can have a look at all of the projects. Here in the list as you can see I have um, the description of the project with the deadline I use this to mark whether it's finished or not and this signifier here was just to say that some were exams when other things were just like university related but weren't really like the final exam as you can see, these four here are highlighted because at some point uh, in April, I did a project overview. And basically, these ones were the ones that I really had to focus on um, because um, other projects were either too far still uh, or other ones were already done. Now, for all of these projects, we have presentations that we have to do with some paper that we have to write. So what I did is that within my calendar that I'm going to zoom in right now, basically, I used a very easy system with letters to identify all of the different projects. So TP is one project, PT is a different project, AE is a different project, and so on. So they can see um, very easily real quick what all of these things are about. And the description of these entries is in my future log here, as I've already shown in a separate video. So this is the list of the projects. These two pages here um, help me uh, have an overview of the time related um, um, deadlines and all of that for but for planning I needed a specific spread now, if you want to have a good approach to project management you should take into account how much time you have to complete the projects all of the tasks that you need to do and then when you have these two you can have a clear week per week plan so that's what the idea for this mid semester action plan came from as you can see here this two page spread is divided into six boxes and each box is divided into two parts as well the first section here is only time related when this section over here is for the tasks so the very first thing that I did is that I put the dates here so that I had an overview of the upcoming six weeks so I started by putting all of the deadlines here on this sides and Afterwards, I start filling in the task part. If we take a look at these two weeks, for example, on the week of the 26th of March till the 1st of April, these were the deadlines that I have. And these were the things that I had to be working on. Now, these things here, 
have to be related to what's going to come next. So what I did is that I looked at my next week, so this week here, as you can see I had this English dissertation that I had to work on, that's why you had to uh, finish that project, and that's why I have here dissertation part three plus um, finalize, so get it finished basically. So having this overview of the upcoming six weeks, you can get a sense of what's coming up each week and what you have to work on each week given the upcoming deadlines. But this specific spread didn't really work for me a lot. And that's probably because it was confusing to come back and forth uh, from one week to another. And I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy um, what it visually um, looked like. That's why I drew a different project with a different point of view that was more easily understandable in my opinion. So this is the current projects overview spread that I'm using and I'm in love with it and it's been working so 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 well. First of all as you can see this two page spread is divided into six columns and seven rows. The first column is only for the description of a specific project while the other five are for the weeks. So as you can see here, I go from the 16th of April all of the way till the 20th of May. So I'm filling each box with everything that I want to do for a specific project on a specific week. The very first thing that I did with the spread was to put in the deadlines. And the deadlines are in red. And these ones have been really helpful for me to understand how much time I had left so that I could, you know, easily schedule everything. For example, I'm going to take this English final project here. This was a 4k word writing project and as you can see here the deadline was on the 2nd of May so I could cross these two here because the project is finished and I knew that I had two weeks to work on this. So the first week I had to do a brand dump of the story what I wanted to write and actually write the first draft when the second week I wanted to just review the draft and actually send it. And so basically that's what I did for each given project. Now what I really like about this spread is that you can either have a focus on a project. So for example, if I take the very first one, um, I know that this is all related to that specific project. But you also have the weekly overview of everything that you have to do for all sort of projects. So if I take for example this week here, I know that on this week from the 30th of April to the 6th of June, I have these four deadlines and I'd like to do all of these things here. Also, I've been reviewing this project's overview um, at least once a week. Whenever I plan for a new week, I come back to this project's overview spread. I see what I have to do and I move the certain task from this to my weekly spread. So that's it. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know in a comment down below if you use a similar spread for your projects. What do you use for keeping track of all sorts of different projects? Do you go um, digitally with a certain app on your phone or do you use Google Drive or Google Calendar or do you only use your journal? Do you only go analogically? Please, please let me know in a comment down below and yeah, I hope that you guys have a great, great day and thank you so much for 10,000 followers. I never really had the chance uh, to thank you all for the support and don't forget to go check out my new channel as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and as usual, stay boosted.